have to check if it's filming because I've never done this before. <laughs> is uh, for all of you, my Japanese students who I've promised that I would open my YouTube channel. Uh, here I am. So this is my first video. Wish me luck. I I hope I will be able to produce as much content uh, to to make you engaged in English even more. Um, to all of you who don't know me and. Uh, if I'm not your teacher, <laughs> then uh, I should introduce myself. So I'm a, a journalist and a graduated film producer, currently working as an English teacher. Um, I've been working for three years. I'm not a certified English teacher uh, in a sense that I, I've never worked in a classroom before. I don't teach kids. Um, I am an online English teacher and I've been teaching for three years to mostly professionals and um, adults, students, uh, graduate students mostly, and uh, Japanese people who work or want to apply uh, to work or study abroad. Uh, during this time of teaching I realized that the, the biggest issue is to make students think in English. Um, all teachers know that <laughs> studying and being, you know, correct is one thing and then expanding your knowledge to actively, you know, um, think and reason in a in a foreign language is something else. And I really got to love um, this process of learning and what it actually is, and how how to to make your learning more fun and more efficient um, instead of just being, you know, precise and kind of learning things. There are different ways of learning, so that is also something that I would like to discuss. So with my students, um, like I said, those are usually professionals who work in international corporations or in the government, uh, people also who, who work in creative industries, um, who are applying for graduate studies at the top universities uh, abroad. So they need a little bit more um, knowledge than you know a regular student. They need to, their English to be more functional and um, so that's why I like to discuss current topics such as, you know, politics, sociology, art, psychology. Um, I like to engage them in reading books, watching documentaries, analyzing art. Um, so anything, anything that will make them uh, open up and, and kind of learn to think in English in a way and learn more about the culture. This channel, I would like to uh, discuss different topics um, that in a way that is going to be helpful for you to maybe discuss them f later at work or uh, I would like to teach you you know how to talk about yourself as well uh, there are many useful tools um, that will make you open up more to your future employer or to you know to, to the board uh, who's deciding whether you should <laughs> be accepted for this big scholarship or not. So um, I understand and we should all understand that, you know, world, it, it, it is a global place, but at the same time, cultures are very, very different, especially the cultures of com communication and the way we, you know, discuss and uh, by ourselves or with others, uh, different topics who so cannot pay to study English online or for those of you who don't have time to book a class, you can always, uh, you know, find some of my videos on a topic that you are interested in and listen to it. This is a good listening practice as well, um, you know, to kind of wake up your English in the morning if you have an important um, conversation or presentation. So I, I decided to, to use this get to know me tag, which is a very useful tool uh, to kind of introduce yourself, and I'm gonna pick like random questions. You're wearing a perfume, what scent is it? Um, my favorite perfume, um, I have no idea. <laughs> but there is a brand called Tokyo Milk, and when I started teaching English to Japanese students, I came across this brand, uh, and it caught my attention because the name is Tokyo. Um, so a uh, very good friend of mine, she uh, gave me uh, this box of samples. Um, I love all of them. So how many siblings do you have? I'm an only child, I don't have siblings, and I'm not a child, I'm a woman now. <laughs> um, quite old. So 
one more do you use PC or Mac I use Mac um, I love Mac I use iPhone I since ever since I've studied in America I love Apple stuff more than PC um, Have you ever failed at anything and what did you learn? I failed a lot and that's why I also like to tell my students you don't have to be perfect, you just have to be engaged in a language. That's, that's my, my advice. What is your favorite movie? Oh my god, uh, I've studied film. Uh, I like to speak with uh, people who work in, in film and creative arts. Uh, that are, you know, trying to apply for for um, universities or work, uh, mostly in America. So, um, I cannot tell, like, I, I, I always say, like, recently, I watched this movie that I liked, which is called Parasite. This is a Korean movie. Uh, it won, like, Palme d'Or in Cannes. Um, it's something else, so if you want something challenging, interesting, and new, you should definitely watch Parasite. Um, my all-time favorite would be probably Days of Heaven with Richard Gere and um, directed by Terence Malick. As somebody who's learning English, you can uh, try to talk about yourself more. I know a lot of Japanese students, they don't talk about themselves because it's not in their culture to express emotions openly about themselves and also express like their personal preferences but when you're applying for a foreign university for example they want to know more about you so you should always be ready to talk more about yourself <laughs> that was my chinchilla and on that note i'm gonna finish with this first video um, i'm gonna come more with interesting topics that uh, hopefully will be of use to you and yeah See you soon. Bye-bye.